when we talk about a high reliability organization, the term originally uh, came from uh, Carl Weick and Kathleen Sutcliffe, uh, this group, or this book, Managing the Unexpected. And we could spend an hour uh, or more on each of these five areas. But the first is uh, what they looked at was uh, nuclear submarines. They looked at, at aircraft carriers. They looked at, um, at uh, nuclear power plants and, and high-risk, uh, problem-prone areas, if you will. And they fi found that the high-reliability organizations, and they also looked at emergency departments, had these five features. One was a preoccupation with failure. We always think we're circling the drain. That's how we discuss it when we talk about emergency medicine. That's a technical term, as you know, circling the drain. Where, some people ask me, how you doing? And my answer is always, pretty good so far. Because as docs and nurses and, and leaders of emergency departments, it's always so far. So uh, the second is a reluctance to simplify. Uh, the third is a sensitivity to operations and understanding that the people who do the work should be the people who redesign the work. And you heard a rich example of that from, from Dale and Barb around getting the staff involved. And obviously that's w why we have such a deep focus on teamwork as well. A commitment to resilience and ability to bounce back, if you will. When you look at those numbers that you heard from Kirk, it's staggering. It's amazing, uh, quite frankly. And then finally, a deference to expertise. If I want to learn about tech functions and redesign tech functions, I don't think a doc ought to do that. I think a tech ought to do that. And each person brings something different to the table, some expertise that's there that we need to have.